It was the first assassination attempt on a U.S. president since the shooting of Ronald Reagan in 1981. Former President Donald Trump was shot during a campaign rally yesterday. A bullet grazed his ear and one bystander is dead with two critically injured. Maddie Franz is here in studio to explain how this event may affect the presidential race and the response from the Secret Service. Maddie, what have you learned? Hi, Harrison. An Augustana College political science professor expects a jump in popularity for the former president, while the Biden campaign may have to reconsider its messaging about the race. There's a lot of enthusiasm and strong fealty to him. I think after this assassination attempt, there's going to be even stronger attachment to him. Based on historical assassinations and assassination attempts on U.S. presidents, political science professor Paul Bob Gardner says Trump's campaign will increase in popularity, especially with the Republican National Convention starting Monday. We now have political imagery that can be attached to that martyr narrative. Baumgartner says the images from the immediate aftermath may also give him a boost. That's all free campaigning. That's all free advertisement. He says the event will also affect how the Biden campaign proceeds. A lot of the messaging in recent months is that this is a vote for democracy. That message may have to change. Maybe to temper some of that rhetoric out of concern that there are those within America that view that as a call for extreme measures. He says both parties could use the event to bolster policy positions as well. I like to see whether or not future advertisements, political ads from the Trump campaign end up focusing on crime in the U.S. Rock Island native William Albrecht is a former Secret Service agent. He worked with President Gerald Ford up to President George W. Bush. He says the shooting will change security measures for Trump. Usually former president details is based, but it's less staff because you got more assets to the president. It's based on the threat. Trump's had the threat. And this just proved that they need all the protection that they can give him. He says that smaller detail may be why agents didn't stop the shooter before he fired, but counter snipers were in place. In rapid fire, he started shooting. They were on him. Within a millisecond, he was, he was out of the picture. He says whether or not Trump continues interacting with the public is up to him, not the Secret Service. The protectee is the ultimate caller of shots as far as, I'm going to go into this crowd. All right, we're going in with you. We'll do the best we can. Now, Albrecht says the agents who surrounded Trump did exactly as they're trained to do and deserve recognition for their response. Bob Gardner says Republican calls for gun control aren't likely, but if Trump makes that decision, some of the party could follow him. Harrison? All right, thanks, Maddie. In response to the attack on the former president, President Joe Biden's re-election campaign has pulled all attack ads off the air nationwide. President Biden also said that he's grateful to hear former President Trump is safe and doing well. He's praying for him and his family and for all those who were at the rally as we wait further information. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds reacting to the assassination attempt, saying, quote, I will be in Milwaukee this week and will proudly stand with President Trump and our party. America will get through this together, and President Trump will lead us into the next four years. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker also commenting on the incident, saying, quote, Violence is never the answer in our democracy. I am closely monitoring the situation and praying for former President Trump's recovery. Thankful to the Secret Service for their quick response. Stay with News 8 as we continue following this story. You can see our complete coverage on the News 8 app and on the WQAD YouTube page.